Hello everybody. Um, welcome to a video for the Kombucha Lab. This video is going to talk to you about what you're expected to do each week and grading. All right, so um, here we are going to start out again in the Kombucha Lab Manual. So we are on page nine of the Lab Manual, uh, which is the first week of the um, detailed weekly schedule. So I'm just going to scroll up fast to the table of contents. Here. Unsuccessful. Okay. Um, so the table of contents has detailed semester schedule, and then it has week zero, week one, week two, etc., to week 14, which I know is misspelled. Sorry, that was me. Um, okay. In the online one, I can click and go there. You cannot. You just have to turn. So here we are on page nine. And so each week of lab will have an entry in the detailed schedule. Okay. Um, the lab manual is intentionally printed only on the fronts of the pages so that you can write on the fronts and or the backs. The lab manual is belonging to you. The bookstore does not buy them back, so it is yours. You can and should write in it. Also, um, each of the things that you need to do each week have been done in where the bullets are boxes, so you can check them off as you do them. All right, uh, so here we are, week two, January 20th, January 29th. Um, before you come to lab every week, you will need to do the pre-lab. Please do not wait until the last minute to do the pre-lab. This will not work out well for you. Because if you have some question, it'll be really hard for you to get help um, at the last minute. So then you'll just come to lab not feeling like you know what you're doing, which is bad because the very beginning of every, of almost every lab period, like not the week where you turn in the poster, but other than that, the beginning of almost every lab period, the first thing that happens is you have a quiz. And so you really want to go into lab feeling confident, like you know what's happening. And so in order to make that go, you need to start your pre-lab early um, so that you'll have a chance to get help if you need it. All of the pre-labs are already in the Moodle. Nothing new is going to open. So you can start them and do them. So if you have lab on Tuesday, you can start the pre-lab for the next week, like Tuesday night. No need to wait until Monday right before. Start in advance. Okay, so uh, here we are on the schedule. So we have week two pre-lab, and this is the way all of the weeks are gonna be set up. It will tell you what you're supposed to be learning or what you're supposed to be doing. It'll tell you why you need to do it, and it will tell you what you're going to get graded on, what you're supposed to turn in. Um, very commonly, you will do both a Moodle thing and a written thing. So the Moodle things are typically going to be called quizzes on Moodle. And you can't see me, but I am doing the air quotes. Um, they are just questions. They're multiple choice. You'll answer them on Moodle. Um, Moodle just calls them quizzes. So it'll be like, are you ready to start the quiz? Do not freak out. Just answer the questions. Um, do like be prepared though, because most of these you only can do one time. So you'll take this quiz on Moodle after you have read the things. And again, you can write in your lab manual. So you can underline, write yourself little summaries, whatever you think is going to help you on the quiz. So you'll do that on Moodle. And then um, you will also do a written thing. Anytime that it says written, that will be something that you print out and it will be due at the start of lab, not after the quiz, not at the end of lab, at the start of lab. You walk into lab with this thing printed. So again, like start on this soon. You don't want to put yourself into a bind because you waited too long to do it. So every week we'll have a pre-lab and it'll tell you what you're supposed to be doing, which page numbers to use in the lab manual, um, why you're supposed to be doing it, and what you're supposed to turn it. Then, once you go down from that, it will have the same information for the time in lab. So on week two, you're going to be designing kombucha. So it's going to tell you 
everything that you will be doing, what you're doing in lab that day, the relevant page numbers, why you're doing it, and then what you're supposed to turn in. So there's the pre-lab, there's the in-lab, and then um, after that is the post-lab. So the post-lab reflections, um, so there will be a separate video about the lab notebook, but I need to tell you a little bit about it right here. So each of you, we want each of you to be good at writing all of the sections of the lab notebook. So in order to make this go, each week you're going to have a different section to work on. The sections are lettered like person A to section A, person B to section B, etc. Um, person A is the lab facilitator. So whenever you're person A, it is primarily your responsibility to make everyone else feel like the lab was successful. They all know what to do. They all get it done in a timely fashion. Person A kind of coordinates and gets everything to go. Um, person B does results, etc. So everybody has something different in the lab that they do. Um, when you are person A, you must mandatorily, as part of your grade, answer the person A post lab questions, which are conveniently here for you, you know, at the bottom of week two. Um, these questions change a little bit from week to week. So be sure that you are answering the ones for that week. So if you're person A, you are required to do this. It is part of your grade. Do not forget. Um, post labs are due um, as a PDF on Moodle the day after your lab. So if you have a Tuesday lab, they're due Wednesday by midnight, Wednesday lab due Thursday by midnight, Thursday lab due Friday by midnight, etc. And must be a PDF. Um, so person A required to do them due midnight the day after your lab. If you are person B through F, then you are not required to do the post lab, but it is extra credit. And so if you're person B to F, you want to do as many of the post labs as you can um, because each one they add up and the, you'll get the extra credit added to your grade at the end of the semester. So persons B to F get extra credit for post lab, person A required to do post lab. And the post lab questions are here. Okay, we're going to go on to week three, just so I can reiterate for you how things are organized, and then we'll look at the syllabus. So here we are in week three. Um, we start out with the pre-lab. It has what you're supposed to be doing or learning about with the page numbers in the lab manual. It has why you're doing it, and then it has what you're supposed to turn in. It will often be both a Moodle part and a written which means printed out due at the start of lab part. After that, it will have the in-lab information with what you're doing in lab that day, what the page numbers are, why you're doing it, what you're supposed to turn in, and then it will have the post-lab with the mandatory required person A post-lab and then the optional but extra credit person B through F post-lab. So this is the way that all of the weeks are arranged until you get to the shark. Let me just scroll down there fast, um, which is starts in week 11. So week 11, it will still have the what you're doing and what you're supposed to turn in, but it does not have as much detail about, you know, post lab and stuff because there's no post labs for the shark. So, all right, now we're going to go to the Moodle and look at the syllabus. So you log into the Moodle, it'll look something like this. Um, somewhere near the top, you should find the lab syllabus. So we'll click on that to open it. Um, your syllabus should look very much like this, even if you have a different instructor. We're gonna go down to the grading part. Okay, so General Biology 1, the whole class is four credits which equals in this case to a thousand points. So three of the credits or 750 points you get from your in-class work. So your in-class exams, the high school exam, all that stuff, 750 points in-class work. 
250 points come from lab. And then we add them all up and that's your thousand points possible for the four credits of the course. Um, 250 points is not a ton of points. And so some of these assignments, you'll be like, seriously, that's not very many points. It's not. It will still be important that you do them though because all the points add up to be your whole course grade. So this is what you can get points for in the lab. Number one, pre-lab assignments. So you already know where to look for information about that in the lab manual. Um, those will also be on the Moodle. Actually, let me show you. Just open the syllabus in a new tab here. Um, so let's look at week two. It will tell you, see where it says pre-labs this week. And so there will be for each of the weeks, a little box like this that says pre-labs this week. It'll tell you what you're doing. It'll tell you why you're doing it. And then the pre-lab stuff will be immediately following this pre-labs this week box. Okay, so you can look in the lab manual and look on Moodle for the pre-lab stuff. Um, you'll turn in the pre-labs. Each pre-lab week is worth six points. So week two, six points. Week three, six points. Week four, six points, etc. cetera. Um, as you know, the pre-labs often will be two parts. One part that you'll turn in on Moodle, one paper part. So if it's two parts, each part will be three points. Uh, there are 10 weeks where you will turn in pre-labs. What we're going to do, which is 60 points, right? 10 weeks times six points per week. What we're going to do is drop the lowest six points. So your two lowest three point pre lab grades will be dropped. And so it can be like three points from week two and three points from week four or six points from week five or whatever. However, it shakes out, your two lowest pre lab grades will be dropped. Your two lowest three point pre lab grades will be dropped. This leaves you with a pre lab total of 54 points. Uh, it's important that you do the pre-labs by yourself. Um, if you turn in work that is too similar to someone else, um, then you'll probably get zero because if we can't tell who did the work to begin with, then we can't give points. So please don't do that. It's just not good. Bad for you, bad for us, bad in general. Um, at the beginning of lab, once you come in and sit down, there will be quizzes. Um, you'll take these on your phone or your computer or your tablet or something. You'll need the Point Solutions app and subscription. Very important. You'll get this from the bookstore. It'll be a little tiny like business card size thing with a scratch off. Do not lose this. You need it to take your quizzes and it costs money if you have to replace it. I mean, it costs money, period. So you don't want to buy it twice. Um, so there will be 10 quizzes, unsurprisingly, 10 weeks of quizzes. The quizzes are five points each. Your lowest quiz grade will be dropped. So your total quiz points, 45 points. You cannot take the quizzes unless you have the app or the website and the subscription. So be sure that you get the subscription like right at the beginning of the semester. All right. Um, you get 23 points for coming to lab. Yay. Um, there are 10 weeks where you can get these points. And here's what happened, you guys. So I did all the rest of the points. And then there was just 23 points left over. And then I had to divide it. And I ended up with this very odd 2.09 points. I know it's weird. Just don't give me flack. That's just the way the math turned out. So basically, you get two points for each week that you come you have to show up and participate. So if you come and you immediately leave, no points for you. If you come and sleep through lab, no points for you. Like you have to be doing stuff to get these points. Your stuff does not have to work, but you have to be doing stuff. Okay. Um, the next thing that happens is your uh, lab notebook. So there will be a separate notebook video. You'll do the notebook. The notebook gets graded nine times. The notebook is worth eight points per week. If you have been following along, you will notice this is the most number of points per week so far. Pre-lab six points, quizzes five points, notebooks eight points. So these need to be good. There'll be a separate video about that. 
your lowest lab notebook grade will be dropped. Um, each person does a different section of the notebook and they are graded individually. So if you do great and your lab partner does terrible or the reverse, this is not a concern. You each get your own grade. But lab notebooks are worth a lot of points. Um, there will be 60 points coming from exams and the poster. So in week six, you'll have a 20 point exam about all the stuff that you've learned in the kombucha lab. Uh, in week 10, you'll turn in your poster. You'll get 20 points. The poster is graded like the notebook. You only get graded for the part that you do, but your part is worth 20 points. And then in week 14, which is the last week of classes, um, we'll have an exam on the shark that's worth 20 points. Um, as the week nine post lab, you'll do the self-evaluation where you will give feedback on how you're doing on the lab goals. That'll be worth four points. And then, drum roll please, um, there is extra credit. Woohoo! Um, so there are five places you can get extra credit. A midway survey that you'll do, I think, in week five. Uh, two lab surveys you'll do like week nine or week 10. Um, when you do your end of semester course evaluation, you'll upload a screenshot. It'll give you like a little green check mark thingy and you'll upload a picture of that. And then look at this group management feedback as person B to F. So this is the optional B to F person post labs. These are not required, but if you do them all, then they will add up to plus two points, which is basically how much you get for coming to lab every day. So this is like a big number of points for extra credit. Um, and you, again, get those if you do the, the B person B to F post labs every week. And then here's information about makeups. Uh, generally, there are not makeups. Um, if you are going to miss for a planned thing like the dentist or whatever, or an unplanned thing like you're in the hospital, um, it is super important that you let your instructor know as soon as you can. Um, generally, I mean, you guys know, people are happy to work with you if you let them know sooner. If they feel like they're boxed into a corner, then they will be less enthusiastic to work with you. So let them know as soon as you can. Um, about your absence and um, give them um, the documentation. But these are um, the makeup policies that we'll follow. So in general, we don't have makeups and that's why we have dropped assignments. So if you do miss a week, um, that can be the week of stuff that you drop. Okay, that is it for the assignment and grading video. Next up, the notebook video.